wondered what is the difference between direct and indirect light, this video is for you. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that this is part one of a series on natural light for plants. So if you would like to check all of the other episodes, make sure to check out this playlist right here. But now let's get to the video. I can tell you I have learned so much about natural light with Daryl Cheng from the Houseplant Journal. If you would like to check out his website, I'm going to leave it in the description below. And now I'm going to tell you what I know about indirect light. The easiest way that I can explain it. Indirect light is when your plant can see the sky during the day, but not the sun. This can happen in many different ways. You can have a plant right in front of a window during a cloudy day. So the plant will be able to see the sky, but the clouds will be hiding the sun. So this is considered indirect light. This also works with other kinds of obstructions. For example, trees right outside of your window or sheer curtains that of course will elude the light that comes to your place through the window. Depending on where the sun is at a specific time of the day, your plant may be receiving direct light at some points of the day and also indirect light at other points of the day. For example, here we have a south facing window. So during the morning we receive some sunlight but the sun is actually coming from the east. So as you can see here during the morning hours my plants actually receive a very nice light sunlight but they don't get any direct sunlight because the sun is not in their peripheral view. But as you can see at other points of the day my plants will be able to see the sun. In this case they're actually receiving direct sunlight. Sunlight. But let's really define direct sunlight. Using the same logic, your plant will receive direct sunlight when she can see the sky and also the sun. Another way to know if your plant is receiving direct or indirect sunlight is to look at the shadow. If the shadow of your plant is very sharp and well defined, she is receiving direct sunlight. If during the day your plant has a more fuzzy shadow or doesn't have any shadow at all, she is receiving indirect sunlight. Now, a very important piece of information that changed my life with plants is this. The more sky your plant can see from the place that it's standing, the better it will grow and thrive. So you want to place your plants where they have a bigger view of the sky. When providing a view of the sky for our plants, we want to make sure that we understand how much of direct sunlight they can actually take. This will differ depending on the plants. Some plants are okay with five hours of direct sunlight, whereas others will only tolerate one or two hours. So for example, if you place a plant right in front of a window, you want to measure how many hours of direct sunlight she will get there and compare it to her tolerance of direct sunlight. If she receives less hours of direct sunlight than the tolerance she has, she will be fine. If she receives more hours of direct sunlight than she can tolerate, this is going to be a problem and it will burn the leaves. So very important, inform yourself about how many hours of direct sunlight your plant can take. And if you are interested in my course on Life for Plants, I actually offer a document with 50 of the most common house plants and their light requirements, which also includes their tolerance for direct light. So make sure to check that out. If you have any other questions or tips about light, make sure to comment below. I can assure you the whole community will appreciate it and we can help each other out in the comments. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, adios! <laughs>